it's often true that, that the most important and the most compelling artists are not necessarily embraced in their time or in their country. I look at the early vampire films, even down to the, the Joulet posters, the, the poster art that he chose to, to associate with them is pulling from this wonderful, resurgent notion of, of surrealism in the 1960s that you had the psychedelic movement which in France cross-pollinated with artists like Philippe Joulet who are pulling in this revivalist Art Nouveau, an art movement which had essentially been relegated to the dustbin post-World War I, pulling in Nouveau elements, pulling in psychedelia. And we come back to this sort of notion of decadence as a conflicted relationship with modernity. Um, these artistic influences from the past crashing against this this brief moment of the psychedelic potential for humanity, the future, the modern. We can expand our minds, we can be a new, more open spiritual culture. So you find all these things coming together in the, in the 60s and early 70s in this European psychedelic movement that is very much an inheritor of the surrealist movement, at least in terms of the aesthetics that are being utilized.